uh, hi friends today in this tutorial i will be talking about uh, specifically forms in html5 and how to get the values when the form submits so basically i have a index.html file first of all we will be making a simple form which will be let me give a title to it forms in html5 and javascript so in this tutorial i will be to talking that how to handle forms so if you make any kind of application you will be most likely be working with forms so we will be inside the body we will be having a simple form tag in order to declare it and inside the form we will be having two input fields first will be input type text so inside this text we will be having let me just give it a simple id of username and also we will be having another field input type of email here we will be submitting our email so id will be email and you can even have a validation also required so this is the html5 validation rule so you should enter this value so it is required and lastly we will be having a button so input type submit which will submitting our form so let's suppose i have register and now if i just refresh it my application you will see that a form will be constructed uh, let me just move on to refresh the you can see that two input fields are there let me just zoom in first is the username and second is the email and register is there so if you have to add a placeholder you can even add a placeholder let's suppose it is username just to add a hint to the user and placeholder is email like this and now again if i refresh it you will see the placeholder which is coming here and now we just need to write our javascript code in order to handle this form so just have a script tag and inside this first of all in order to get the reference to the form we will be giving an id to it of form like this and now in order to get the reference we will be invoking a very simple method which will be get element by id on the document variable get element by id and here we will be passing the id that we have given to the form which is form and now the second step is guys we need to add an event list listener so basically event listener in javascript is something uh, that whatever event happens so there are various events out there in javascript first one of them is submit so when the form submits this callback function will execute it will hold the event object so this event object automatically get passed whenever the form submits and now inside this event object there is some methods that you can pass which is event prevent default so basically let me out write a comment and explicitly explain to you why we are doing this so basically it uh, prevents the form from auto submitting so what do you mean by auto submitting auto submitting basically basically means that whenever we make a form we enter values here username and let's suppose i enter a email address and click on the register button now the now it will auto submit so with the if i just uncomment this line here if i don't write this line you will see a question mark appearing here right here in inside the browser so if you if i see you uh, if i write the email address and click on the register button you will see the question mark so it is auto submitting so now it is not processing my code which I uh, I have written inside this form if add event listener. So that is why I am just invoking this method so that it will auto prevent the auto submitting of the form. So it is a very important line that you need to write. So now after that we can just grab the values that the user has typed. First is the username. So again we can just follow the same formula. We can just get element by id and this time we have given the username the id of username and after that we need to dot value so this will extract the value that the user has typed inside the username field we can console log the value also to cross check username and now the second field is email so email we will be following the same formula we will supply email dot value so this will grab the email address and now we can console log also this email address so now let me just show to you what i mean by that in order to see the console log messages you need to right click go to inspect and go to console so here all of our console log messages will be printed out so let me write an email address click on register you will see that both the things are printed out in the console successfully username email address 
and now you can just process this form and do whatever that you want to do make a get request uh, just store it inside your database so basically this is a step by step formula in order to process forms in any kind of application that you are making first of all get the reference to the form by either giving it an id or a tag name and then you can add a event listener to it of submit and through that submit you will be invoking a prevent default method so this will prevent the auto submitting of the form and then you can grab the values which the user has typed like this so this is a and i have forgotten to show you the validation if i don't enter values it will auto it will automatically just tell me that please fill out this field so this is all because of this one attribute that i submitted you can see that required so this automatically prompt me to enter these values so this is html5 validation comes bundled with uh, required attribute so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button and also comment on this video that uh, what do you learn from this video and uh, how i want to frame my future videos based upon these videos so thanks very much for watching this video